Good morning, everybody. So one of the things that um, a lot of you seem to be wondering about is balance. So this is a shorter like, five minute video on balance. This propeller is, I believe it, this one's a hundred inches long. So I had a lot of material to work with, so that can be good and bad. <laughs> so it's good because I do have a lot of material to work with, but sometimes it's challenging to know where to take that material off to balance it. So. The first thing I do is I get started by just seeing how far out of balance I am. And I usually take these just little pieces of scrap sandpaper and put them on the tips to see if it's just one piece of sandpaper, then it, then it is probably gonna be okay or pretty easy to fix. If it's two, it's like, uh, and then if it's three, it's like, I'm in trouble. <laughs> So vertical balance was just a tiny bit off as well. So I mark that on the hub and then I put it on the stand and make an evaluation of where I want to start sanding. So that blade is good. I won't do anything to that blade. Um, over here you can see I'm heavy on this side of the hub and this blade. Uh, so in order to correct both of those things, I will sand right about here. So the challenge is going to be not taking so much off that I change the pitch. So, but if I do sand right through this area, it will correct both problems that I have. So I also get, I say, where do you take the material off of? I always try to take it off of the back because I don't want to change the shape of the airfoil. The back stays completely flat. So taking material off there, um, if I can take it off evenly, then it will be, uh, you know, no problem at all, but I can fudge a little bit and take a little bit off and it not change the pitch, you know, like, oh my gosh, it's, it's three inches different on each plate. No, this is going to, and it's more of a flattening out. So there probably was some sort of little um, bump in there. It probably wasn't completely flat. So when I sand that out, it will be completely flat. And sometimes it'll take, you know, three minutes of sanding. Sometimes it'll take 10 minutes of sanding. And I still won't sand all the material off that bottom part. I will sand, you know, up on the top. I will take it off the complete plate, but it's more like I'll put a little extra pressure on the bottom of my palm to take just a little bit more off of that bottom part. So then, like I said, I do go back and check the pitch to make sure I am right on. So um, the angle with my electronic level was 13.8. So I'll take 13.8 tangent times pi times um, 60, which is the diameter that I measured it at. And I come up with a 42 and the goal was, or 46. And the goal was 46 on this prop. So we're golden there. And you can see I'm still just a little bit out of balance. And that last one was filmed a little funny, but it was really hard to do my calculations and film at the same time. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so here I am just taking a little bit more off. And of course it would be more effective if I took the material off the tip. But if I take all the material off the tip, then my tracking is gonna be off. So I generally try to leave the tip alone for the most part. Um, and you don't want that tip too thin. You don't want your tracking off. It's a pretty important part, so I don't mess with that a whole lot, especially when I have all this material here to work with. So there you go. It worked out. Got it balanced vertically and horizontally. Like I said, this was just a quick video. Sometimes it can take me 10 minutes. Sometimes it can take me two hours, <laughs> but this one shaped up pretty quickly. So I hope that gave you guys a little bit more insight on how we balance propellers. And I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for watching.